Hey everyone, Lovely Moon Bunny here, and we are back with the Runaway Teen Challenge. For this episode, I am just going to be doing this house build. Um, as you guys know, I was thinking about moving them to Windenburg, and so I did end up deciding to build the house instead of um, finding one on the gallery. I did look on the gallery, but I was having a really hard time finding one that had everything I needed. I'm sure I probably could have eventually, but I just didn't have enough time and I just kept looking and looking and I was just having such a hard time with it. So I was just like, you know what? I'm just gonna build it. And I ended up taking inspiration from my puzzle house collab build, but it looked very Victorian and I loved how it came out. Um, and it was a huge, huge build. Um, so I couldn't um, have Poppy and Wolfgang and them move into that house because it's way too big and way too expensive. But I wanted to take inspiration from the way the outside of the house looked. Um, so I kind of gave it that same look and I thought maybe maybe it reminded Poppy of her grandmother's home um, that she, uh, who was the artist and everything that inspired her to be an artist. Um, maybe it reminded her of that and so that's kind of why you know she's got her family now and uh, she was wanting um, basically to kind of have a home like that for her family so I wanted it to look very homey um, but then on the inside I still kept it kind of modern which I feel like you see a lot in some houses um, in areas where there are older homes and the insides have been like renovated. Um, so like the outside still looks, uh, you know, older and how it looked originally or Victorian or however, whatever style it is. But then the inside has been, you know, remodeled and renovated and it definitely looks more modern on the inside. So that's kind of what I did um, because all of their furniture they had and everything uh, is very modern looking in their home they had before. Uh, but that home was just not, I just didn't feel like it was really for a family. And this one definitely feels that way. I did have a really hard time, guys, uh, figuring this out because I didn't have very much uh, money <laughs> for building. And um, it took me a while. I went through a couple different um, layouts and things like that um, to get it to where it would be something they could afford. Uh, and still be more than what they had because um, I didn't want it to just be a copy of the house they had but with a different layout basically I guess so I wanted the kids to have their own separate rooms that were decorated kind of cool and I wanted them to have a more of a kitchen um, and an area for them to be able to sit and eat and an area for them to be able to sit and together in like a living room um, and a study for them for painting and playing music. So I wanted it to really be a family home um, and work for everything they wanted. So I really like how it came out. Originally I had built it to be two story, uh, but it was just too much money when it was two stories. So I ended up bringing the rooms that were upstairs to the bottom floor and rearranging things and it it just ended up working out. I was like, okay, this actually ended up working and I ended up really liking the end result. I was not sure about it for a little bit, uh, but I think it works. And like I said, maybe this house reminds her of the house that her grandmother had um, and that's kind of what she's wanting for her family. And she's done the things that she wanted to do, the reason she ran away um, she's, you know, completed her aspirations and now she's trying to focus on making sure that her family has everything they need too. So I really like it. I love, like, I put monkey bars outside and I just feel like it looks like a home a family lives in. So I really, really liked how it ended up turning out. I was, I had such a hard time, guys. I was really having a hard time and it still ended up being more money than they had. Uh, but it wasn't that much more. It was, um... I want to say they were about 7,000 short um, originally and so I had to have Poppy uh, do some paintings. She did like six or seven I think paintings um, and sold them. She got a couple masterpieces so luckily those made more 
um, and it was enough to be able to uh, give them enough to buy the house and still have a little bit left over. So that was like my ultimate goal. I wanted to make sure that they didn't spend every dime buying the house. They still needed to have money left over. So uh, I think they still ended up with about 4,000 and something simoleons left. So that's a decent amount and will be easy to, you know, build back up. So I hope you guys enjoy this. I'm gonna go ahead and stop talking and let you guys watch the build. Um, but yeah, so next time we will get to see Poppy and Wolfgang and the kids all in this new house. And I really hope you guys like it. Uh, if you do, please give it a thumbs up. And if you wanna see more, subscribe and I'll see you next time.